home. Going to check my honey hole. Looks like some new stuff just came in about an hour before I got here. So it was like perfect timing. I don't know. Somebody must have let someone know. Uh, I don't need all of this. Some of the stuff I already have. But there's a couple of items. A couple of uh, movies that's going to probably be added to the collection. We're going to have to wait and see at the end which ones I've taken back. I got a stack here. Got a stack over here of some uh, DVDs next to it. It's definitely one that's caught my eye. Maybe two. So I'll look through the rest. There's the normal shelf. I always pan through. There's, It's weird. There's like a movie or two that just gets slipped in, added into the shelf that didn't get posted. Is there new stuff that came in? So I, I have to check it every time. You just never know what you're going to find on this one. So give you guys a little quick view of just what I'm looking at today. Again, you're going to have to wait and see what I bring home. But that's coming up soon. So until then, just keep looking at the movies. And of course, stopped in at the Wally World. Um, I'm always looking for something new in here, and they still have their little Beetlejuice you know, hand painted, what is this, knockers, head knockers thing, a uh, screen that's been there for a while. The Chuckies are cool, but I don't know if I need any of this. Ooh, what's this? This is new. Okay, maybe, maybe. I got two of them. I'm gonna keep looking. Oh, the bloody disgusting phase two lines out. So luckily my Walmart put it all out. No VHS this time, but there's some cool items. Definitely some stuff that I'd like to have in my collection. What am I going to take today? I don't know. Guess you'll have to wait and see. Coming up soon. Till then, check it out. Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, I'm here. I'm back. It's been a couple weeks. Finally made some progress in the room. I've uh, been focusing on that versus getting out. But I did get out. I went back to my hometown. Did a little hunting there. Didn't make it to the swap meet this time. Just ran out. Just too much. Too much was going on. Too much was going on. And uh, didn't need to. Just, I just wasn't feeling it that day. Anyways, I, I did find other stuff. And I brought that home. Uh, I got a couple of things, I think, um, in the mail from Orbit. I got uh, a Walmart pickup. I got some uh, toys. I got some other fun stuff that just came out. So I'll share that with you. Also had my vinegar syndrome haul from a couple weeks back. Again, this is a couple weeks old. Been far overdue because I've been busy. I've been putting these damn things up. <laughs> uh, I've got four so far. So you'll, you'll end up seeing eventually. I'll do the room video tour thing. I'm a jig library tour like collection whatever you want to call it uh eventually i'm just not done yet so i still have a while to go but uh progress is being made so four of these bad boys are up vhs right now so i'm i'm, I'm, I'm doing it give me a little bit of time uh while i'm speaking about this stuff because i have some vinegar right here let's start with my vinegar so I can put these right here in the hole and start finishing the gap with my other stuff that I gotta find. <laughs> so I picked up the uh, Miami Connection Miami Connection alternate slip. I already have the regular one, which is probably right there. I don't, I'm not gonna start getting getting into that at the moment, but I, I don't know why it was cheap. I wanted it. It was bright colors. It caught my eye. So grab that. And then uh, Surf Two. The alternate cover also have the regular one again bright cool fun colors just caught my eye so i went with that as well uh just the slips because i already had the movie and the og one so put that right there uh this is the one dvd that i grabbed flesh and bullets uh, now out of print it looks definitely up my alley that it looks fun you know and it's not from right yeah it's not an you know x-rated it's not one of those 
Uh, it's from a director that did did those, but this is his like one, I guess, that was not. So still going to be trashy and all that good stuff, but it at least doesn't cross that line. I'll I'll watch it and see how close it does, though. <laughs> you know, so flesh and bullets. Uh, and this I passed on a while ago, and I didn't even know it was out of print, but it it went. So I got the dash edition of uh, was it Black Cat one and two. Uh, I don't think I've seen, I haven't seen these, either one. But it, when I took a quick peek, you know, how they give like a little uh, video clip or whatever, a little synopsis of the movie, they looked fun, looked interesting. So uh, I, just, I collect this stuff and might as well fill it up, fill up some holes with some black cat. So that's what I got from Vinegar. Very small, easy batch of movies, uh, so cheap, save some money. Um, what else? What else? Let's go with one of these. So I did pick up the Nightmare on Elm Street Part Three, uh, Freddy. This is one of the new NECA release, or one of the new, not to say new, but new uh, from Bloody Disgusting Phase Two at Walmart. One of their new little things they're putting out, just like the Terrifier Two tape last time, and the other cool little items. But I uh, couldn't pass it up. I, I think I have another one of these Nightmare on Elm Street Part One, maybe or Part Two. I don't know. Or maybe I'm thinking of another one. I have a couple of these these particular types. So I know I didn't have this one. So grab that Freddy. Well, I'm on it. Uh, while I was in town back home, I was at the bookstore just looking around, passing some time. I grabbed this cool Slashers edition of Horror Hound. And uh, it looked interesting. I wanted to read it. And see, check up on my slashers, <laughs> uh, see if there's one I forgot or missing or just whatever. But it looked awesome. I love the cover. So well, with that little special edition, oh, slashers for uh, from Horror Hound. Um, I'm all over right now. I'm gonna grab, just keep grabbing stuff. It's like Christmas. I did grab, of course, as well the Killer Clowns. Um, I couldn't pass these up. I I love Killer Clowns. I love picking up all different kind of items like this uh these ones they, they look pretty nice in person too i mean they're gonna be just pretty they're just NECA you know they're basic but for uh NECA they're they're pretty good so we got slim let's put that one over there we got fatso oh fatso and then of course can't leave out which is probably my favorite clown uh shorty Crash 40. So all three came home. They're going to go somewhere. You know, uh, somewhere eventually. But when, I don't know. And, you know, at last toy while we're at it, the Chucky, the Christmas one. Uh, couldn't pass up this little Christmas present. Uh, it's pretty badass. I can open it up. So, you know, the Christmas Chucky edition. You know, now at a Walmart. Uh... Last, the thing with the Chucky, that was my first NECA ever. The yellow box, the little toolbox one. And uh, I remember having it in in my hand, like wanting it and putting it back, you know, on a Black Friday and all that. So it was like one of those first experiences with NECA was Chucky. Um, so anytime I see Chucky's, I pretty much grab them. Uh, I have a couple of different Chucky editions, so definitely like those. Now on to the movies. Uh, this one I'm going to just show you really quick because I probably shouldn't at all, but I'm going to cover up with something. I did get one of the new Tito Brass uh, 4Ks, uh, cheeky. <laughs> uh, very good slip cover, but I ain't going to go any deeper than that. So uh, we got some cheeky. Then I got this kill. Uh, recommendation from Bob over at Bob's Blu-ray said probably one of the better movies of the year he's seen. When I looked, that's why I asked him, have you seen this? Because I think he he went to the theaters, or I knew he would have watched it. Uh, it says violent, glorious film, all that, and it looks awesome. So I gave it a chance. Kill. I'm going to give it a chance. So grab that. Let's just, uh, let's grab this pile. I got two piles. So I did go out, and when I was grabbing those, I did grab the Winnie the Pooh Part 2 uh, still book, Blood and Honey. It was one of just two left, and I don't, I didn't see any other copies, and I don't think I was going to see this again. It was not even for sale anywhere near, or at least at my local one. So I had to drive, 
maybe 15 minutes, not hard, 20 minutes tops uh, to go get it. So I did. <laughs> and I'm glad I did because I don't think there was any more left like, uh, about half day after I checked the next day that said they were out of stock. So let me put that over there. Uh, we got Killing Time because I was Killing Time at the store and just, I was like, SRS sometimes, hit or miss. I'm going to give it a shot. Killing Time came home. Uh, Pinocchio's Revenge. This one I had to go back for the next day because I forgot. I forgot it. I went the first time, picked up some other movies, and then I realized when I got home or back to my Airbnb, per se, <laughs> I was staying at a friend's house but with the wife and my daughter. Uh, I looked and I saw that I missed it. So I went back. It was there. Grabbed it. Not a very expensive one. Not that hard to find. But this one's actually a side edition um, by, what was it again? Yeah, Kevin S. Tenney, the director and writer. So an autographed edition of Pinocchio's Revenge. I figured, why not? Uh, all these ones come from like the same source or two. It's this guy that turns in his collection to my honey hole. So it's pretty trusted. Um, you know, I believe it's the actual autograph that he wouldn't got. Did I have to pay like extra for it? No. Um, but I figured if I'm going to get the movie in, while, in the wild like that, why not? Uh, this I've been passing up for like a year they had another copy came in and uh it was like double the price and i'm like you know what i i think i've seen this at the source so i went to the wall where i knew it would be sure enough to have one for half the price so i'm like you know what let me just grab this one in case it's getting harder and harder to find because i did notice on i looked it up on the bay and it was getting a little harder but it's not like crazy uh the spanish chainsaw massacre it's stupid wild eyes cheap cheesy crap but it looks fun it looks so awesome uh, even the back's all bloody and gory looking. So I've been meaning, I've put this, I've been in my hand like four times for the past. So I've like finally went home, I guess, on the fifth. Same with this one. Uh, now that I don't live out there, there's some movies I've been grabbing that I'm like, you know what? I just want them. I'm not going to keep passing on these. I'm just take them home. Uh, the Killer Snakes. I love snake movies. And I think the reason I grabbed this is because where I stayed, there was a rat snake in the damn room. In the like living room where my air where my air mattress was, and uh, it just ate a mouse. Literally, when I got there, it was like rolling. I knew it was gonna eat it. It was like sniffing around it, had it in its coils, and then ten minutes later, its mouth expanded around its back end, eating it from ass up. And uh, I was kind of happy because now that I knew the snake was full, I knew he was gonna be chilling for at least twenty four hours. Like he wasn't gonna be, and he was. He was just, he went to bed for a while. But I think because the snake was with me in the room for three days is why I went with the snakes. Killer snakes. Looks awesome. Um, the Shaw Brothers, I've had luck with, I think, of one other movie. But I can't think of it. I know they're, they're, they're big, so they that one looks awesome. But Alligator, which I don't think is also known as the Great Alligator or the something like that. There's actually there's a Blu-ray of this. I know it. Um, I can't think of the name, though. The Great Alligator... Is coming to mind, but I, I don't know. But yeah, Alligator was cheap, and I was like, you know what? I don't have this copy. Uh, I don't even have the other movie, so even if it is that title. <laughs> uh, so I grabbed this one instead. I was into reptiles, I guess, that day. And then, let's see, what else? What else? Where did I put the other stuff? No? No? Oh, I hear I see it. It's right here. Almost got confused. Started stacking them on the other ones. Uh, let's speak of the devil. We got some crocodile. <laughs> Alligators, crocodiles, snakes. Oh my. Um, alligator, crocodile, snakes. Oh my. Yeah. It works for me, right? Uh, I already own this. I just didn't have... You know, because I, I, I got the killer crocodile edition. You know, the like special edition that came out before this one. Uh, so different cover arts whatever um it was in my hand and i i was like you know what uh, do i pick it up do i take it home even though it's the same movie it's just different cover art i was like fuck it why not <laughs> and i took home crocodile i'll probably i don't know what i'm gonna do i might i don't know but for now i'm gonna keep them uh death line uh blue underground added another one of the collection i didn't have this uh whoa dropping movies almost 
didn't have this one, haven't seen this one. And uh, once I read up on and te- took a look, I was like, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Donald Pleasance, Christopher Lee, coming home with me. So let's see. The Sept. Because they just put the 4K out or whatever, I finally put this one up for cheap. Um, what is this number? 2752 of 3,000. You know, there are tons of them out there, 3,000 copies. And uh, it's all right. You know, I love Argento movies, but I don't know. I'm gonna, I haven't. I wasn't really into this the first time I tried to watch it, so I'm gonna give it a whirl again and hope for the best. Uh, the sect. Uh, this one looks cool. I've never heard about it, never seen it. Given, it, it's like why not? Uh, there's nothing out there, so I can't tell if it's a horror comedy, just comedy, a horror. There's nothing out there as a horror fan's wet dream. So it sounds like it mixes the, the two. <laughs> a horror film of comic proportions, yeah. So why not? Do you know about this? Comment below, because I don't. And then finally, I was so happy. This was, and it just came in an hour before I got to the store. And it looks like this is the last one as I look around. Uh, Massacre as Central High. Uh, and I thought at first it was just the, like the Blu-ray or just regular, but it's the actual steel book. So I was pretty stoked um, to find that there. So not, uh, I don't think it's out of print. I think it's probably still in print, but you know, not one that you just find on the shelf really. So beautiful though. Look at that. I like it. I like it. And uh, uh, another one, this one I have not seen to be honest, and I've hear, heard only great things. Um, I missed out on, like, buying it a long time ago to watch for some, like, I think it was like a watch-along or something. I can't remember. Um, but I didn't didn't get a copy, so I've just passed. And uh, now that I have one, this is going to get watched really soon. Probably before the end of the month, to be honest. That's why another reason I wanted to do this, so I could get it in my player. Um uh, Oh, wow, the cup back. Hope, I ain't going to go too far with this anymore in the back. I didn't realize what was on the back. Uh, <laughs> let's hope for the best. Um, so that's it. Uh, that's all the fun stuff. Toys, movies, magazines. Uh, movies in the background, finally. Uh, who knows what else is coming next, but not nothing in this one. I'll tell you that. Nothing in this video. That's it. So if you're feeling it, like, comment, subscribe. Later.